I've seen a couple of reviews for this Wet n Wild Essence Primer. It's a 5-in-1 primer plus finishing powder. One of the reviews didn't like it much at all, and the other one kind of did like it. And so, since it's only $7.38, I decided I needed to find out for myself. The Wet n Wild Essence Primer Plus Finish Powder says that it gives up to 16 hour wear, and it's a 5-in-1 skincare makeup product. It smooths, conditions, refines pores, balances, and works pre and post makeup. It is claimed that it is the beginning and end of your makeup routine. Wet n Wild claimed that this will prep your skin for makeup while smoothing and conditioning your skin, that it brightens dull skin, reduces the appearance of imperfections, cuts down on shine, and cuts down on redness. So that's the powder right there. It's very light. This will be okay on my skin, but I'm not really sure what it will do for someone who has darker skin. It's very silky feeling, and I don't know if you can see that it does seem to be blurring the pores and imperfections on my skin there. So the directions simply say to apply evenly to face before and after makeup. I'm not sure exactly what brush is best to use for this, so I'm going to use the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, and it's a very dense, uh, kind of domed brush. This one is clean, so we're just going to go in. Ooh, there is a lot of powder kick up on that, so um, yeah, be careful with that. And I will just dab it on one side of my face, and then we'll take a look at what it looks like compared to the other. Because it does say that it's supposed to blur smooth imperfections and kind of start giving a little bit of coverage. And I want to make sure that I get in the creases and crevices too. So now I know you're probably thinking, wait, you're not supposed to apply liquids over powders, but you actually can. And as an oily skin person, this powder first and then foundation is something I've done when I need my makeup to go a really long time. So I do think if I come in close, I do think that it has blurred my pores in here compared to over here where there's nothing. Of course, it's taken down the shine from my skincare as well, but I do have more visible pores here. However, I do also think that it's accentuated a little bit of dryness in here. So we'll see how that goes after I put on my foundation. It really hasn't done a lot to help with the redness on my forehead, but I have a lot of redness on my forehead, so that's kind of a big ask right now. Keeping it in the Wet n Wild family, let's use the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator over the top of this, and I have a clean, damp blending sponge. So I am just going to dab this on over that powder, and I kind of like to spread it out just a little bit with my finger. I usually do this whenever I put on a foundation and then just go in and pounce it in like normal. I just did a wear test with this foundation up against another of my tinted moisturizer type foundations, and that one probably is already up, so I will link that in the cards if you want to see that wear test. And it will be good to see, while it's fresh in my mind, if it wears better with the primer powder than it did in that video. And then as I like to do, I'm going to build up a little where I have a little extra redness. Press it in on my nose. And I did only put that primer on the right side of my face and not on the left. So we're going to compare how the foundation wears with the primer with the primer and without. I also have the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer and I'm going to use that under my eyes. I have two shades of this. I'm using light under my eyes and light beige to conceal a little bit on my face where I have a little more redness. I have some eczema also, and I have a little bit in my eyebrows, so I like to cover that spot with some concealer because otherwise it looks like I'm messed up when I do my eyebrows. Generally, I like to blend my concealer in with my finger. I feel like the warmth of my finger helps the concealer to blend in better.
And then when I have it mostly blended, I will take my e.l.f. concealer sponge and rub that around the edges to blend it into my foundation. And then also use it to absorb any excess product, which will help keep it from settling into the fine lines under my eyes. And then I usually take the sponge and then just stretch that skin a little just to make sure that it, there's none settled into the creases there. All right, so my base products are on. And now before I put on my bronzer and blush and highlighter and eyes and all of that, I'm going to go in and set with the Wet n Wild Essence Primer Plus Finish Powder. This time I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush. This is also from e.l.f., but it's a powder brush. And I'm going to just dab in, but again, it's very powdery. Can you see that kick up? So. And again, I'm just going to put it on one side of my face. And I'm going to go ahead and put this under my eyes as well to set my concealer. On the other side of my face, I'm going to use the tried and true Maybelline Fit Me powder because this is what I used when I did the wear test for the head to head video. I did also use a primer that day and I didn't put any primer on this time. So we'll see if that makes a difference, but I'm going to just Use the Maybelline on this side. I'm going to take a good look in my 10x mirror and see if I can see any difference. And I don't think that I really do. Um, I think that it looks blurred and matte on both sides. So we will wait and see how it wears through the day. I'll be back when I have everything on my face and I'll take you over to a window in natural light and then we'll do a four hour check-in. And I think I should be able to get an eight hour check-in done. It's a, getting a little bit later in the afternoon, but I think I can still get one done. I have the rest of my makeup on except for my setting spray and we are going to use the e.l.f. Microfine Stay All Night Setting Mist. love this stuff and i am using it over my whole face just to recap i have the wet n wild primer plus finish powder on the right side of my face i did not use any primer on the left side of my face then i put on the wet n wild tinted hydrator then on the left side i came back in with another layer of this while on the right side i used the maybelline fit me translucent loose setting powder and so now we're going to go over to the window so you can see what this looks like in natural light kind of cloudy outside so I don't think there'll be any benefit to going outside because there's not any bright sunshine. Then I'm going to come back at four hours and again at eight hours and let you know which side wore better. All right here we are at the window in my bedroom and this is about the best natural light I have. So the wet n wild primer plus finish powder side and then the regular side. Right now I don't know that I can tell much of a difference. Can you? I'll come in closer. I probably will be able to see better when I'm looking at the footage back versus when I'm filming it right now. But I think it looks really pretty. I don't think it looks overly heavy, which is what one of the reviews that I was watching said. And I don't think it's made the makeup break up weird or do anything funky. So we'll see how it wears. It's kind of cold and windy, but I thought it might be good to do my check-in outside because it's a really kind of gloomy gray day and the lighting inside is just not great. So we're gonna do it out here. And this, remember, was the side with the Wet n Wild primer, and this is the side that doesn't have it. So it's a little hard for me to see in the viewfinder. And then my forehead. So that's about four and a half hours actually since I put it on and I'm going to go inside now because it's really cold out here. I managed to stretch to about nine hours and honestly I think my skin looks pretty good on both sides. Looking at my forehead it's a little dewy but not like terribly greasy. It doesn't really feel that way and both sides feel the same. 
if I'm looking at my skin, my face, I don't know that I can tell a difference. Can you? I mean, really, if anything, I think I almost look a little more shiny on the side that I did the Trying to make sure that I'm not getting more like light on one side of my face, making sure the lights are the same distance. I don't think I can tell that this made any difference at all. I think it looks the same on both sides. And so now I'm a little bit bummed that I bought this because I really, really do want to repurchase this that I used up. It's all gone. And this is probably my very favorite powder foundation in setting powder. And so I wish I'd spent the money on this one instead of this one because I don't think this made any difference at all. On the other hand, it wasn't bad. I had this video all filmed and I've got to come back and give you guys an update because when I used this initially, it didn't do anything fantastic, but it didn't do anything bad. So if you want to try it, try it. And I am back to tell you, don't. I do not recommend this product. Um, it's cheap and if you want to go, if you want to see for yourself, go ahead. The first time I used this, I used it with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, and maybe because they were both Wet n Wild products, it played better. But the second time I used it, I put it with my NYX Born to Glow, and I put this all over my face. I used a brush, put it on my face. I didn't put it on super heavy, and then I put the NYX on, and it looked horrible. I mean, horrible. I don't have many days where I try something new, and I don't, maybe I don't like it, but I can, I can at least keep wearing it for the rest of the day. Mm -mm. I had to completely start over. I don't usually use makeup wipes. I usually just use them for swatches and things. I grabbed a makeup wipe and I took my makeup off because it was gathered up weird and it was bunchy and it was just sitting on top of my face. Oh, it was awful. Awful. I tried to powder and see if I could make it better and it just made it worse. I am going to say hard pass on this and I'm actually taking this back. And I don't really take a lot of things back anymore. I used to, but if I'm purchasing something to try, I don't think it's really fair to just take it back. But this was bad. And so I can't recommend it and I'm not gonna keep it. So I don't usually have that strong of an opinion about a makeup product, but for that one I do. And like I said, it's inexpensive, so if you want to try it and see if you have the same results with it, go for it and please let me know what you think. But if you're trying to be really careful with your purchases and don't want to take a chance on something that you don't think might work, I would suggest trying something different. It's an interesting idea and I have used powder under foundation before. I believe I've used this Maybelline Fit Me and that is a way of making your makeup last longer, especially if you have oily skin because the powder kind of absorbs the oil before it gets to the foundation is the idea of it. But this one didn't work. So take that for what it's worth. How about checking out another video if you got a little more time to spend with me. I hope that you have a beautiful blessed day and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.